Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. Let's dive right into it. Simu 1.13.0 has just released and is one of two simultaneous releases, the other being Simu version 1.14.0. The latter version contains the highly anticipated texture cache rework, but there's a few things you need to know. Version 1.14.0 is expected to release later today as an experimental test build as the reworked cache system is not yet complete. What this means is we will have two versions of Simu at the same time, one stable, one experimental. Version 1.12.2 and 1.13.0 should perform identically with the latter containing a few extras. What we can explore however whilst we wait for version 1.14.0 are the new features and changes found within 1.13.0. As always, Patreon supporters have 7 day exclusive access with the public release dropping on the 5th of August. The main changes are to the interface and graphic pack system with additional discord rich presence now available as well as .elf file support for homebrew. When comparing the 1.12.2 and 1.13.0 interface, we can see that file, tools, CPU, NFC, debug and help are identical. The changes are found within options. We can see that VSync, graphic packs, upscale filter and audio settings have all been moved into general settings. Additionally, options in experimental have also been moved. General settings are broken down into general, graphics, audio and online tabs, now allowing the user to select the audio output device. Simu Hook and older graphic packs will still work, but the outline graphic pack changes are definitely exciting. The detailed change log says added the ability to store multiple presets in one graphic pack, e.g. multiple resolutions in a single resolution pack. The used preset can be selected in the interface, only one preset can be active at a time per graphic pack. Replace the graphic pack list with a tree view to allow hierarchical structuring, added description and path field, added a button to reload custom shaders while the game is running, mainly intended for graphic pack development, and existing graphic packs for Simu 1.12.2 and earlier remain compatible. So what this seems to be doing is it's trying to organize multiple graphic packs into a single preset. Now this is something that sounds absolutely fantastic and I'm really looking forward to it. And as you can see at the bottom, it says the audio output device can now be selected and changed in the audio settings. Testing Simu 1.13.0 seems somewhat unnecessary as it is technically on par with 1.12.2. I even double check certain games such as Ninja Gaiden and Tekken and Tag and the same old issues remain as expected and is why version 1.14.0 is so intriguing. As you'd probably expect, Breath of the Wild works flawlessly. Graphic packs will now appear as old in a drop down selection and, as I said before, will still work. Graphic packs will need to be adjusted to take advantage of the new organized system and the community is currently working on that. The next step is to wait for Simu 1.14.0 to be released so that we can test genuine changes and improvements. Leave your ideas, thoughts and comments down below. Complaining Gamer social media links are also there. If you enjoyed the content leave a like, if you didn't dislike and to keep up to date with all things emulation, subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'll catch you in the next one.